this video is going to discuss the diffusion through a membrane lab that we did in class. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to, on your handout that you have, label the before and after diagrams with the letters G for glucose, I for iodine, W for water, and S for starch to show where the molecules of glucose, iodine, water, and starch were before or at the beginning of the experiment and then after once we have completed the experiment. So I'd like you to pause and try labeling the diagrams. Come back and we'll see how you did. So in our diffusion lab, we were testing to see which substances can move through a cell membrane by diffusion, which means they're not going to be using any energy. And we remember that diffusion goes from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Remember that concentration refers to the amount of substances dissolved into a solution. So if there are more substances dissolved, we would say it has a high concentration relative to an area that has fewer su substances dissolved in the solution, which would have a lower concentration. So if you notice, I tried to use W's for my water, and as I set up my before experiment, I showed that there were one, two, three, four, five, six water molecules outside and two water molecules in to represent the relative concentrations of water inside and outside of our pretend cell, that membrane that we used. There were also glucose molecules inside the cell, but there was no glucose outside of the cell in the liquid surrounding the cell at the beginning of the experiment. Inside of the cell, there was also starch in the solution, but no starch outside of the solution. The other thing that was outside the bag in the solution was iodine, which in this case is labeled in orange with an I. After we set the experiment up and we let it sit for a while, you notice that several things happened. In our instance, we had iodine move into the bag, and there actually should be two eyes outside of the beaker here, because there was still some iodine left over in the solution. We had some water move into the bag, or our simulated cell, and we had glucose move out. And there's still 